This is code.org, and this is getting started, I guess. All right, what are we doing here? Import the painterplus.java from the backpack. Awesome. And I am that because I did commit it. So backpack, click painter plus and hit import. Now, if you don't, you're going to have to click new file. Make sure you name it exactly painterplus.java and copy the code from there. All right. That being said, we got it though. Write the tank, right? The method signature for ta the take all paint method. All right. Method signature. So a method signature just like when you sign your name, right? What are you doing? You're signing your name. You're writing your name. A method signature, you need to write the method's name. And that's going to go into Painter Plus. This is where the method will be will be uh, available, right? Because we're going to use it for the Painter Plus object. And for the Painter Plus object to be able to do this, just like we did with Turn Right, we have to create a method for it. So public void. And if you're like, how am I going to remember all this? Guys, you can reference it right here. Use your resources. Some of this isn't going to be off the top of your head right away. And that is very normal. All right. Take all paint, parentheses, and I'm going to do curly brackets because I always forget. All right. That's our signature. Bam. Two. Done. Inside the take all paint method, use your pseudocode from the writing algorithm activity guide to write the Java code for painter plus object to take all of the paint while it is on the bucket. All right, so let's go ahead and magic our way over to this doc. I have it up. This is what the top of it is. What we're doing here, guys, is we're going to walk through how to plan out the logic for this method. This is standard. These this approach is very standard and it will become second nature to you as you develop your skills in computer science. It's very useful and necessary to walk through these. Also, pseudocode. I just want to be clear on that. Google, uh, Meta, Microsoft, every heavy hitter in programming right now, pseudocode's a thing. It's how you plan. It might be how you communicate with other developers and provide feedback. So this isn't some like kid stuff they're making you do. This is real world programming stuff. All right, all that being said, what I need to know, I really love to test stuff as I'm building it. So what I need to know, once you've taken a shot at this and gotten the idea of your logic down, I'm going to grab these instructions. And instead of writing it here right away, I want to test it as I go because I break things a lot. So I'm headed over to myneighbor.java and I want you to know what I'm about to do. I'm going to test it as I go, but then I'm going to get rid of because, well, you'll see. All right. I'm going to line 10, I'm hitting enter, and I'm just putting these instructions. I just copied those over from this document because I want to remember what we need to do. Method should take all the a paint from a bucket while, while there is still paint. And it looks like right now the painter just plops up onto the bucket to start. All right. So now what can I do? How could I get 10 paint before? Oh, well, I mean, I know we have, right? Well, we should have. And we've used this a bunch. Where is it? So here's the painter class. You've seen this before, I would hope. And what do we have here? Uh, methods or behaviors we have access to take paint. Perfect. So back over here, my painter dot. And oh, it's my painter plus. Painter plus, though, extends painter, right? It extends painter. So we can do everything that class can do. My painter plus dot take paint. All right. Now let's check out how many paints we take. I hope you know it's it, it's well, I think boom. All right. So let me be lazy here. Copy paste, right? One, two. Look, I'm doing it. Look, we're done. It's it's over. Do not do this. Do not turn this into me. All right. Sure. Sure. It works. That's not really the goal of this. All right. So in programming, when we are repeating ourselves, when I am copying, I'm just hitting control V guys, by the way, when I'm just copying and pasting, when you copy and paste code, 10 out of 10 times, there's a better way to do it. All right. And that way, well, I don't know, how can we repeat something without actually writing it a million times? And if you're not sure, go back and look at lesson uh, about bubble two, right? Bubble two here, our friend, your friend, my friend. Oh, look, we have, oh, wait. Oh, two's nice, though. Oh, yeah. Wall painter is on bucket. Take paint. Interesting. Okay, let's go look at bubble one. 
Huh. Wall by Painter Plus is on bucket, take paint. Huh. Use your resources, right? And so what did this allow us to do? Well, as long as the painter is on the bucket, because the wall is a conditional statement, or wall is going to check a condition, as long as we're on the bucket, we run this code. So let's check this out. Droop, droop. I'm jumping back over here, and I'm going to do wall, right? And think of this almost like an if statement, but it's an if that repeats. Wall, and then brackets. I always do that because I forget to put the brackets or something. All right, so wall, and then what do I want to know? Well, I want to know, is there a bucket there, right? I don't want to take paint if there's not a bucket. So my painter plus, uh, uh, what was the name of this guy? Is on bucket, right? Not is on paint. That's if it's actually painted. So my painter plus dot is on bucket. Boom, boom. Now, if I am on the bucket, whatever codes here has to run. So I'm going to do one of these, just one of them. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to get rid of all of these because we're doing it an easier way. And actually, let's start here, the guys. I want to put an if statement because remember what an if statement does. This is a con this is checking a condition. We're asking the computer a question. If my painter plus is on the bucket, and as long as this is true, if this is true, it must run take paint. So we should take paint once, and then it will drop below and do whatever. If if this is false, though, it cannot run take paint, and we just continue onward. One. Now, the magic of a while loop. A while loop has to run as long as this is true. So, unlike an if statement, when an if statement might run the code inside, because this was true, it hits the bottom and keeps running. While loops hit here, and it has to check again. So, you can think of this as as long as this condition is true. So as long as this dude's on the bucket, as long as my painter is on a bucket, it absolutely must run take paint. And so there's 10 of these. Let's pretend there's three of them, right? Because I don't want to have to go through all that. So we're going to pretend this number's a three. We move to the bucket. We hit wall my painter plus is on bucket. We're asking the computer that question. The computer checks. Oh, painter plus currently on a bucket. Yes, there is three paint here. Pretend. So this is true, all right? We drop in, we then must, my painter plus must take paint. So this would be two then, right? Boom, hit the bottom and it says up. Oh, now I have to check again. Hey, hey painter, are you still on a bucket? If this would be a two then, right? Yes, that's still true. So it must run this, my painter plus take paint. Okay, so now that would be a one. We hit the bottom. Oh, I gotta check again. Hey painter, are you still on the bucket? Yep, there's one. So my painter plus take paint again. This is now gone, right? The bucket's empty. The bucket's gone. We hit the bottom. We still have to check because it's never been false yet. Hey, hey, painter, as long as are you still on the bucket? This would finally be false. Once this is false, it just drops beneath like an if statement does. If this is not true and runs the code beneath. While loops repeat, though, as long as they're true. So let me test this. Beautiful. That's exactly what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and cut and delete this other stuff real quick. And I'm moving this over to here. All right. And so I already had my method signature. I'm going to paste it. This isn't going to work yet, though, because remember, we're now inside the Painter Plus class. It directly extends Painter. This object only existed over here for testing purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and kill that object off by Painter Plus. We're not actually murderers, just to be clear, it's still, anyways. All right, but we still want to run that code. Well, that's great, because we now have the method right here. Boom, and we can do it just like we have been. Bam. Bam. Ba-da! Look at that. Done, and done. Onward.